Welcome to another episode of Righteous Strength. I'm Brian Pride, and I'm out of breath. I'm trying something different tonight. I didn't didn't record this before my work sets. I'm in the middle of them. So right now we've got 355 pounds on the bar. We're doing our five sets of three for squats, and I just finished set two. But that's not what I want to talk about. Um, actually, I do like to talk about that. But I've had this thought, and there's stuff in the news going on lately, but it's, it's been in my head for a long time. And it's, imagine this. Imagine that you and your neighbor are having a fight, and he decides to take you to court over it. You didn't do anything wrong. You say you didn't do anything wrong. You don't think you did anything wrong. But in the middle of this court fight, his lawyer gets to depose you. And you sit and you answer all of those questions to the best of your knowledge, best of your recollection. And maybe you get something wrong, or maybe you lie about something because you don't want it to look that bad, but you still don't think you did anything wrong. And then it goes to court. And you find out that the lawyer that deposed you was allowed to lie to you about all kinds of stuff to get you to admit that you did something wrong, but he never got you to admit it. But he found out you lied about that one little thing, or you got that one little thing wrong. And so when they go to court, the judge says, well, yeah, you, you didn't do that, but you lied. So we're going to find you guilty anyway. The lawyer lied all day. Lied to you about everything to get you to admit something. But you lie once and you're guilty. Seems a little unbelievable. I'm not actually talking about Donald Trump. I'm talking about law enforcement. Did you know that if law enforcement, FBI, police, whoever, thinks you committed a crime, they can lie to you all day long to try to get you to admit that you did it. Even if you didn't do it. You didn't do it. They can't prove you did it. You didn't do it. But you got something wrong and they can prove you got it wrong in the interview. And so then you're prosecuted for lying to the cops because that's a crime. They lied to you up one side and down the other. They told you they had witnesses. They told you that somebody else had confessed and implicated you. But you didn't do it. And they can't prove that you did it. So instead of taking you to court and trying to prove the crime that they know they can't prove you did, they take you to the court and prosecute you and put you in jail for lying to the cops. One name, Martha Stewart. They thought she did insider trading. They couldn't prove it. But they caught her in a lie during her testimony. And she went to jail because she's such a danger to society. Doggone, we need to get that Martha Stewart off the street. So here's the thing. Do I think you should lie to the cops? No. Do I think you should commit crimes and lie to the cops to try to get away with them? No. But I don't think it's a fair system when you can be innocent, or at least they can't prove you did what they think you did, but they can still send you to prison because they caught you in a lie, even though they lied to you about everything in the interview. That's the bell. It's time for my next set. Let's get to it. Yeah. 
So I guess my only question to you is, if they can send you to prison for lying to the police or the FBI, should they be able to lie to you in order to try to send you to prison? Seems a little unfair. like this shirt, you can get it on Gearbubble, because this is my kind of heavy metal.